here. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here with me today. If you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you. And if you have, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. So today I'm really excited to bring you a little haul of perfume from fragrancenet.com. And these are um, some perfumes. They're all minis and travel sprays. And this haul was a little bit inspired by my four most important fragrances in my perfume journey video, which I'll link up in the cards. And so um, during that video, I talked about some of the perfumes that I wore along my fragrance journey throughout my life. And some of them I hadn't smelled in decades. So I just thought, you know what? I think I'm gonna get some of those. So I got very small versions and some of these are really cute. And so of course I had to get free shipping. So I threw in a, in a few other things. Um, but these are all minis and travel sprays because as I've said before on my channel, I really like to get the smallest amount possible because I just have a lot. So I don't need big bottles of anything. So anyway, I'm going to jump right into it. And also I just wanted to mention that my upload schedule is now Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. So anyway, without further ado, I'm going to jump right in. So the first one I have is just something that I wanted because I don't actually have the original and this is isn't that the cutest? <laughs> this is Mugler's Alien. So um, you can see how pretty the bottle is. So it's empty actually because I decanted it, of course. So um, this is my little travel spray of Alien. Now I have Alien Flora Futura, which I mentioned in my Mugler video, which I'll link up in the cards. And um, I just really wanted to have the original because I love it and I just, I don't have the original. So now I do. And so I'm just gonna give a little spray here because I've gotta see how my, ooh. It's, so it's this Jasmine Bomb. It's this Jasmine Powerhouse. It's very popular. I just got it on my nose, of course. You know, I have to do something like that in every single video. <laughs> so um, it's beautiful and it's um, super powerful, super sexy, delicious, um, fun and sexy and awesome. So it's, a, it's a, an icon for a reason. And I will also link my video on how to decant roller balls because the same thing applies to these little minis. I just, any kind of dabber type perfume, I don't know, I just really prefer a spray over a dabber. So I'm gonna recycle this as adorable as it is, but Alien, very excited to finally have it. The next one, oh, and by the way, the notes on Alien are Jasmine, Cedar, and Amber. So the next one I have is Bulgari Eau Parfum Parfumé Té Noir. And so this came in this adorable little bottle. And this has black tea, Damascus rose, tobacco, leather, oud, wood bark, and patchouli. And this is one I've been wanting to try for a long time because it was highly rated through um, Luca Turin and Tanya Sanchez's Perfumes the Guidebook. And it actually, Reminds me, it's really nice. It reminds me of a deeper, darker, more mysterious and gothic. I think I'm using that word a lot lately in my videos, but it's like a deeper, darker, richer black orchid, I think. It reminds me a lot of black orchid, maybe a little bit of angel, but it's really delicious. I'm excited to have it. And they, um, I actually have the vert or the green version of this, which is a total, polar opposite of this. It's a super light, fresh, um, summery fragrance. And this is the dark, rich, mysterious cousin. And I'm really, really enjoying this. So happy to have that one now. And then another one I've wanted for a long time because it was highly rated from Luca Turin and Tanya Sanchez as well is Ellie Saab's Gardenia. This is Essence Essence number two gardenia. So this is one of the fragrance net travel sprays. I'm actually going to spray this on because I, whatever I was wearing wore off. So and this is definitely a, a big, big jolt of gardenia. It's very pretty. It's got gardenia, of course, Egyptian, Sambac, Jasmine, and Indian sandalwood. So I think this is gonna be really fun when it gets to be a little bit more springy here. I'm excited to have this one. And I was happy to see that they have this in a travel spray now on FragranceNet. So I'm also gonna put up the, the FragranceNet account code on the screen for you. This is not sponsored, but I always like to give people the um, code so they can get the most off if you do decide to purchase anything from Pretty Good Snap. It's a great deal. It's where I always look first. And then I got Ellie Saab um, Essence Vetiver. 
I think this is number six or number eight. I don't remember. But this was recommended by Etherealist. That is a channel that I love to watch. Galen is the guy that runs that channel. It's oh, He's really good at reviewing perfumes and he's got a great sense of humor. So I wanted to try this one and I already did spray it, but I really like it. I think this is going to be, this is, um, this has Haitian vetiver, Java vetiver oil, Calabrian, bergamot, grapefruit, papyrus, and cloves. So it's very dark and beautiful and um, definitely more on the masculine side, but I don't mind that. And I might just layer it with something a little more fruity and that's just kind of how I like it. So it's really cool. I'm really happy to have um, Ellie Saab's Essence Vetiver. And, oh, and I forgot to show you the cute little bottle. It came in this, it came in this little dabber before I decanted it, so super cute. Um, the next one, this is just something I've been wanting to try for a long time, theme in this haul, and this is Rihanna's Rogue. And I just love a good celebrity scent. And I've heard this one's good. And it's first sniff, it's really nice. It's got lemon blossom, cyclamen, jasmine, rose, plum, suede, musk, woods, patchouli, vanilla, and amber. So it's not like super groundbreaking or incredibly different from a lot of other scents, but this is very pretty. And actually, I think this would be a good year round one. So I'm happy to have Rogue in my collection now, a little one. I think this is half ounce maybe. Now we're getting into my sentimental scents, my sentimental, um, bad pun. <laughs> so these are the ones that I talked about in the, um, four important fragrances along my perfume journey video. And the first one is from YSL and this is Paris. And this has roses, violet, bergamot, may rose, iris, and sandalwood. And I'm gonna actually spray this on my other arm. Mm -hmm. And it smells exactly how I remember it. It's beautiful. It's extremely floral, of course. And it's reminding me of the 90s big time. Um, I think I wore this in more of the late 80s um, than the 90s, but anyway, it's bringing me back, um, especially with the um, the strong floral rose violet and iris. So that's mostly what I'm getting is those florals, but I, I can kind of get that woody under, um, woody base. So beautiful YSL Paris. I'm excited. It's a very sentimental thing for me. And then the last one is another very sentimental one, and that is Calvin Klein Eternity. And I got this, I think it's a half ounce, and I'm just gonna actually spray my spray my notes. And this is this is such a classic. It's got um, fresh citrus and green, violet lily of the valley, carnation, um, heliotrope, pink sandalwood, and musk. And it's a uh, it's very classy and fresh and very, um, I'm getting a lot of kind of warm weather vibes from it. And it's, it's exactly how I remember it too. I don't think they've, I don't think they've really updated these very much if at all. And they are gorgeous. They're very strong perfumes because that was really kind of how we rolled back in the eighties. <laughs> we had big shoulder pads, big hair and big perfumes. That's just how it was. So, um, I will have to break those out occasionally. I can't see myself wearing them super often, but it's really fun to have them back. So what are your sentimental perfumes? Do you have any fun minis that you um, love? And um, anything else that you'd like to share in the comments, I'd love to hear from you. So thank you again so much for being here and please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Feel free to give it a thumbs down if you didn't and I'll see you again very soon. Thank you.